Hi, this is Brian in Press Reflection Painting. I want to talk today a little bit about interior work in painting and kind of the scope of expectations on uh, what one should achieve uh, with their system in doing the interior painting. Uh, my example today is going to be a bathroom. Um, so in my system, I try to encompass a restoration approach. So basically, I try to bring it back to what it should have looked like at the time of being built. Uh, what I mean by that is removal of anything that could get in the way or covers up uh, any wall space. This little mount here, since it has a hole to, to mount it and hold it up, that in consideration can stay, but the uh, wall surface around it can be painted if removed, just like light switch plates, plugs. <clears throat> so when things are removed, sometimes they'll leave little impressions. The idea is to get that restored back to the wall looking normal, like holes, whereas once it's painted, primed, painted two coats, you shouldn't be able to even know it was there. Now one of the biggest things that I find in bathrooms is where counters meet walls here's a good example you can see that channel how it's just cracked separated that's pretty common with most countertops some are worse than others this one is in fairly fairly decayed shape I guess I would say but you can see how it just sinks back a little bit of cracking, but it's solid. This one here was actually so sunken back that I had to fill it as kind of a, um, not a barrier, but kind of, I just had to build it out. So when I get to the painting part, I can caulk it again and raise that level up closer to the counter um, counter level. Same here. This was almost sunken behind this piece, so it was pointless to even have that. So I built it up, and I'll do a second layer here, and you can see that it ran the entire length of this tub. This part here was cracked, so I cut it out and removed it so I can have a new surface to work with. Top of the top of the tub, it had a gap running along the back. So say water's building up on the wall, it's just gonna run straight behind down that crack and start damaging your drywall. So that's basically restored. tops of baseboards, sides of door casings. In the situation when baseboards are not getting painted completely and the homeowner's door jams and doors are in fairly good condition, I still put it into the, the process to re all the sides of the door casings and all the tops of the baseboards and then repaint them. And it's a fairly quick process and when you do that, you're able to brush, you know, nearly 60, 70% of the baseboard without having to cut it in and take a lot of time. And that gives me the opportunity to have a smooth, um, clean surface to tape on top of that I can stencil with. And then this is so smooth that I don't even need to seal that tape. I just press it down, paint it, and pull it and it gives me nice stenciled lines similar to this cabinet here. So this cabinet used to have a, bridged, a gap that was bridged with paint, meaning that the previous painter tried to paint this edge and the paint sucked up to the wood and it just kind of put this little connection and you, you've seen it before in tight gaps. Uh, it's called bridging and it looks just broken to me. 
So I restore the look of it, tape it off, and uh, caulk it and paint it. And it gives a nice clean edge. So all around, everything should be redone to look as crisp as possible. And all sealants should be redone to be restored back to the original finish, so to speak. All right, now here is the finish after the caulking is done. See the gaps were bridged. I use a razor and just cut those little tabs. You can see the deformation in the actual uh, countertop, but it looks much better than what it was. And now it's not a big gap. You can see how far back that came away from the wall. But now it's almost flush and water won't run behind it now. And that was just open. It was a gap that just went behind it and I had to cut that out again, as I said earlier. See, so the stenciling really makes for nice lines. over here hard to get it absolutely perfect but it's nice to try <laughs> 